We continue our investigation into a Norfolk 911 dispatcher who posted a statement on Facebook that could get her fired. Andy Fox was asking tough questions to Jessica Camarillo last night, but tonight he's putting the city of Norfolk on the spot. Andy? Nicole, I'm arguing both sides of the story. Camarillo apologized for this post that suggests the family of a man killed by Norfolk police should pay for the bullets it costs to kill him. Now, we grilled Camarillo about that, and she apologized. But tonight, we're wondering why she was forced to appear alone in her investigative hearing that determines whether she'll be fired. Her union representative, that man there, Mike McKenna, was thrown out of the meeting, and that spelled doom for Camarillo. I believe I've already been terminated. But don't you think that if you've already been terminated, that even is more reason for you to have McKenna there to try to keep your, save your job? Yes. Yes, I needed someone there with me to help me, to, to speak up for me, and they wouldn't allow it. Tonight, 10 on Your Side investigates the city policy used to tell Camarillo she had to appear alone, which, as you heard, likely doomed her chances to keep her job. Is it fundamentally fair? And what about due process? That story, we're going to have more on that coming up at 530, and then our full report at 6. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.